What's going on guys? It's New York Prepper here. It is Sunday, April 18th, 2021, and I have another breaking news alert to share with you guys on the situation in Ukraine. And what you're looking at here is a flyer that was passed out to civilians in the Donetsk area of eastern Ukraine. And Donetsk is the Russian separatist controlled area of eastern Ukraine. And so it looks like they're getting ready for war in eastern Ukraine. I did a video about two days ago uh, showing you guys uh, pictures of buildings being sandbagged in Donetsk and also a huge line of cars um, evacuating Donetsk and heading to the Russian border. All right. There was a picture that I showed of a huge line of cars lining up at the Russian border to uh, clear out of Donetsk, okay? And now we have these flyers that are being distributed in Donetsk and they show how to survive a bombing attack, okay? Now, um, if anybody in the audience can uh, read this, please post a comment down below um, if you could translate what this means. I know I have some Russian and Ukrainian um subscribers if you guys could uh pause the video now and translate what this flyer says and if you could put it down in the comment section or email the translation to me and i'll put it in the comment that would be really uh helpful to the people that are watching that don't understand russian or or ukrainian and can't read this but it looks to me like some kind of a flyer showing you how to survive a nuclear attack um, you could see the guy laying down on the ground to protect himself from the blast wave. And then here we have some other pictures. Uh, looks like it's showing you not to stay near a window because windows are the worst place, which is true. You know, uh, when you have a bomb going off, the, the blast wave will um, push all kinds of debris through the window and you don't want to be near a window. It looks like here in this picture, they're showing... They're showing to uh, stay in a basement, which is what I've said to you guys. Stay in a basement and stay underneath the staircase so you can get some overhead protection. But I thought this was pretty interesting. I wanted to share this with you guys. We could be on the brink of World War III um, any day now. I don't think it's going to be much longer before Russia invades Ukraine. Um, and again, like I said, they're already evacuating eastern Ukraine. People are fleeing to the Russian border, um, are fleeing into Russia. And, uh, you know, they're sandbagging all the buildings in eastern Ukraine. So it's a very serious situation, guys. We're on the verge. We're on the verge. OK, now uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, the U.S. reconnaissance drone here. This is the Forte 10. This is another RQ-4 Global Hawk. I've been following these Global Hawks for the last two days, and it looks to me like the U.S. is doing 24-hour surveillance over uh, Crimea and eastern Ukraine. There's these two Global Hawks that are alternating shifts, and so the Forte 11, which was the one that I was tracking yesterday, and I, I just did a video update on it, it just landed about an hour ago here in Sicily. And now we have this Forte 10, which is the other Global Hawk, and it's circling. And it, I, the other Global Hawk did the same thing. It just circles in this one area here right outside of uh, eastern Sicily. Okay, it just does these circles for like a few hours. And then after it does the circles, it moves out towards its target, okay? And I think this is just maybe some type of like a maintenance. Um, they're checking to make sure that it's working properly. All right. But I, I do, based on everything that I've seen on Flight Radar 24, it looks like the United States and Britain are setting up 24-hour surveillance and reconnaissance of eastern Ukraine and Crimea. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But that's all I have for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the four Ps. Pray, prepare, practice, and persevere.